What's up, Pisces? Welcome to your full in-depth love reading from now until August 7th, 2019. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you guys do not know how to find those placements in your chart, there will be a link in the description box below. All you got to do is click on it. The instructions will be in the, descri the description box as well. Everything else you need to know will be down there also. Um, we are back to doing full in-depth readings. I don't know if I have did a short reading on you guys or switched it up, but we are back to doing that. So if you are new to this channel, we do go in with the after tarot at the end for future, future predictions. These can manifest three to six months ahead. And then we do go in with the tarot of sexual magic to see if there's anything shady going on, any shady business, third parties, whatever will definitely pop up in these cards. Okay, um, they li are a little R-rated, so definitely don't watch if you're not into that kind of thing. Um, and then we do some other special stuff for you guys. So let's get into it for Pisces. In love. Some work stuff may come up. You can relate it to work, to family, um, any type of situation that's going on in your life. It, it, I mean, it can manifest in, in these love readings. For some reason, I don't know why. So... Whether you're in a relationship or not, there's bits and pieces of information that you can take with you. Um, and the only way we'll be able to tell if this reading is 100%, you know, accurate. Keep in mind, you always have free will, but the only way we'll be able to tell is after August 7th. So keep in mind, these are energies that may be coming towards you, okay? So energies you can look forward to or energies you can kind of maneuver around to help you spiritually. Um, I do want to mention new deck. This is the Crystal Tarot, if any of you are interested. It was kind of cheap, so I figured I'd pick it up. It has beautiful court cards and major arcanas, but um, the rest is kind of just bland. So we're definitely clarifying each and every card with another deck that is much more... Um, Colorful. All right, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. From now until August 7th, 2019. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter in love. From now until August 7th. 2019 Pisces. Let me know when you're ready, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now until August 7th. One more. All right, let's see what's up, guys. Keep in mind, general reading, the only way to get a reading to 100% resonate with you and your current situation is to get a personal reading. All right, so overall energy for Pisces. Yes, I love it. Strength card. And these cards are pretty cool as well because they've got a crystal up here. So I'm going to try to put it as close so you guys can see. All right. Beautiful strength card. I'm recording on a new phone, so I apologize, guys. I just want to make sure you can see it clearly. So the strength card. Power. Strength. Passion. Leo energy. Does it have to be? No, but this is good. So you guys are having strength. That's the overall energy from now until August 7th. Passion. Going after what you want. Okay? Okay. Wow, amazing. Um, there could be something or someone that you've given up on, okay, or just not waiting for anymore. You know, now realizing that you need to take the time to nurture yourself and find the strength within yourself, okay? But I see that something has not come to a completion here, okay? Something has not come full cycle, with the world. Something is not fully ended or there has been some type of delay here. So it's telling you to have strength, okay? 
overall energy. So let's get to it. Present energy right now for Pisces. And we will clarify everything. Yes, you guys. The lovers, okay? So there is a big decision here to make about a relationship. Gemini energy as well, okay? With the world card there and two major arcanas off the bat, this could be a karmic connection for some of you or, or a karmic lesson. Um, keep in mind, it could be vice versa as well, you know, somebody needing to learn their lesson within love. But somebody needs to make a decision about a relationship here. Make a commitment. Somebody needs to trust themselves and make a commitment here. Um, there very well could be someone else in the way. Whew, we will find out. All right, so thoughts and concerns for Pisces. What's on your mind? Wow, Virgo energy. Another major arcana. I want to make sure you guys can see it very clearly in the crystals. All right, so what you're thinking is... You're thinking about somebody taking a break, okay? Whether it be you or whoever you're dealing with. Somebody really taking the time for themselves spiritually and also going within and just finding that inner clarity and that inner knowing, okay? It says, I follow my own path. So this is what you're thinking about. So you could be thinking about yourselves going into isolation, Okay, or you could be thinking about somebody else that's kind of isolated themselves, okay? Or somebody could be thinking about taking a break, you know, wanting to follow their own, own path here, okay? Wow, this is like a very, really strong connection. I'll put it that way. So, the basis of the reading for Pisces, wow, guys, Ace of Cups. There is love here. There is love being offered, man, big time. There it is. I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Holy shit, guys. All right, so in the recent past for Pisces, we have the five of wands reversed. So coming out of conflict, not wanting to fight in the recent past, not wanting any drama, not wanting any competition in the recent past, okay? So what's crossing Pisces? What's holding you back or what's influencing you negatively or positively? It could go either way because it's a general reading. We have the Five of Cups, okay? So someone is definitely feeling a little a loss, okay? Somebody may even be a little bit depressed, um, feeling some regret, grief, upset, okay? So there may be some sadness here crossing you, holding you back, okay? But there's definitely love being offered in a serious commitment that somebody is definitely really trying to think about and really be strong about. Wow, okay. So going into the near future, this is a prediction for Pisces. This may manifest by August 7th. It could exceed depending on your situation and also depending on free will. We have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, okay? So somebody is just going to give up and not put the work in here. Somebody's not going to want to do what they believe they should do. Somebody's just going to give up here and not put the work in going into the near future. Could this be like quitting a job and going your own way? Yeah. Um, Money-wise, yeah. Relationship-wise, yeah. Somebody could literally give up and not put the work in. We'll clarify and we'll figure out what's going on. So, other situations that Pisces may be going through currently. We have the Ten of Cups reversed, okay? So, somebody is not happy within their relationship or their family situation here. Somebody is just not emotionally fulfilled, okay? Not happy. All right, so external to Pisces, any type of external energy. I'm sorry for the pauses, guys, because I'm reading the little things on the, on the bottom, the little quotes on the bottom here, which are pretty cool. Um, so what's external to you, Pisces, you've got an offer. This could be coming from anybody. This could be friends, family, coworkers, your business, um, anybody external to the relationship. This could also be you guys' energy because it's a general reading, okay? We have the Ace of Pentacles. So there is this brand new path. There is this brand new beginning. There is this opportunity for growth, okay, that the universe is handing to you. This is long-term. This is long 
this is long lasting here. This very well could be between two different people. Okay. Or could, this could be an issue where, you know, a relationship is kind of holding you back from following your own path. Okay. But this is amazing, Pisces. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? Wow. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. So externally, somebody could be rewarding you for everything that you're doing. This could be a job promotion, work, something of value, or it's a new relationship coming in that's stable, you know? All right, so let's see. Hopes and fears for Pisces. Again, kind of what's on your mind. Wow, hopes and fears. The high priestess reversed. Somebody's worried they are not following their intuition, okay? Or somebody's worried about some secrets being exposed, Or someone leading them in the wrong direction. Okay, this is what you're thinking about. Wow. It's like you guys are really trying to listen to your intuition here. It's like you know you have to. You're hoping or fearing it. Those gut feelings, you got to trust them. This is very interesting. So Pisces, this is your card, or it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well, but you are coming up reversed. So either you're not trusting your intuition, not listening to those gut feelings and that inner knowing, or secrets have come out here. This is what you're hoping or fearing, secrets coming out, okay? So the outcome for Pisces from now until August 7th. We have the death card reversed. Scorpio energy, it does not have to be. But somebody's not letting go of someone here. Somebody's not letting something end. Somebody's not letting a relationship end. Or somebody's not letting go of you. You're not letting go of them. Somebody's still going to be holding on here. Okay. Wow. No transformations. Damn. Damn. And somebody may be feeling like, going into August, somebody may be feeling like, you know, there's that Four of Pentacles again that was in your last reading. So I highly suggest watching that because that's the first card that flew out or that came out when I shuffled. So the Four of Pentacles reversed. It's like losing money, not feeling safe, not feeling stable, um, not trusting that you're protected, okay, financially, um... Also, you know, somebody may have something to say, okay? And they're just not saying it here. Somebody that can't let go of you, Pisces, or you can't let go of them, yeah. There's a big decision that somebody is going to have to make, okay? They're just not making it. Somebody's just not making a decision. So we've got strength. We've got power, okay? Somebody could definitely want a commitment here. Somebody that it's not over with, but there's there some type of delay. So let's see. Let's clarify these babies and see what's up for Pisces from now until August 7th. These are pre-shuffled, but I keep going a little bit till I get those chills. So Pisces to clarify the spread spirit from now until August 7th, 2019. Alright, so in the recent past, somebody just didn't want to stand their ground anymore and fight. Somebody was done with it, whether it be, you know, drama, conflicts, competition, fighting. Somebody didn't, didn't want to do it. Somebody did not want to participate in it, whatever it was. We are not going to go there. We're not going to deal with it. Um, that's not what matters. What matters is moving forward. So let's see why the lovers is the present energy right here, right now. Why is the lovers the present energy for Pisces? The world reversed. Okay, something is not over. A relationship is not over. Somebody may have given up, put all this time and effort and energy into a relationship, and they've given up here. There could also be pregnancies for some, not all. Um... A lot of major arcana. So this is definitely... Definitely a karmic lesson for some or a karmic relationship, whatever you want to call it, soulmate relationship. Let me show you these cards together, guys. This 
could also be a relationship for some of you, not all, where someone really has to travel to be like there's some type of delay with reconciling with this lover or with this friend or whoever this may be it could be a gemini sun moon or rising does not have to be but it looks like there's no there's not going to be or there isn't right now or not going to be a reconciliation with someone okay or there is a third party present okay there could also be a lot of gossip and a lot of drama and you guys are just keeping Keeping that strength here. Why is the world reversed? Somebody's just not willing to take that risk. Okay, we've got the five of cups coming out again. A lot of fives. Somebody doesn't want the pettiness, the conflict anymore. Okay. There it is again, five of cups. Somebody just does not want to take the risk with this relationship because of what's happened in the past. It's almost like somebody's trying to figure out, you know, what's going on with this relationship. I don't dare to do anything just yet. There's a delay. Um, somebody's definitely holding on to a lot of grief, regret, remorse, and, you know, kind of feeling lost. Either without you, Pisces, or feeling lost without you, or you're feeling lost without them. This is either holding you back or pushing you forward. Aries energy as well. Gemini does not have to be. I just like naming them for you guys. So let's see. Why is the Ace of Cups the basis of the reading for Pisces from now until August 7th? The Magician reversed. Four of Cups reversed. Very interesting. Someone wants a second chance here. Okay. And somebody just does not want it. Somebody just, just, just doesn't want it here. But now it's being presented to you. Maybe this is somebody you've turned down before. Or they, they have turned you down. But there's an opportunity for a second chance. Yeah, there's, there's that tower. There's a lot of, mm -hmm, could be with a Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. I see the devil here. So there could have been some manipulation. Someone could have said they didn't accept some type of love offer here, but there is definitely love here. There could also be fertility and pregnancies as well. Um, let's figure out why someone is so upset. This is what's crossing you. Emotional upset. Grief, regret, remorse, sadness. Why is the Five of Cups crossing Pisces from now until August 7th, Spirit? We have the Strength card. Unbelievable. Somebody is trying to heal. Okay? Somebody is really trying to heal from whatever type of relationship this was, business partnership, Friendship, whatever it was here. Leo energy again. Somebody's... Your pride may be in the way here. You know, or somebody else's pride. Maybe somebody needs to open up and, and speak and forgive themselves or forgive somebody else here. You know, even if you guys get back together or you move on, whatever you do. There needs to be healing for sure. Someone is definitely not healing from some type of love offer here. Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Wow. So let's see. Why is the Hermit in Pisces thoughts and concerns? So you're thinking about isolating yourself or someone else being isolated. Because somebody's not emotionally happy. Somebody's not getting their way. Somebody's not getting their wishes fulfilled here. This is a, what's on your mind. Wishes and dreams not coming true. Wanting to detach, okay, and follow your own path. Really find the wisdom within to decide what to do that makes you emotionally happy. This is what you're thinking about. This is what you're concerned about. You know, do you want that commitment here? There needs to be a fair, balanced, honest decision for everybody involved.
Wow. Okay, let's see. So the Ten of Cups is here for other current situations that Pisces is going through. I almost said Scorpio. Holy crap. So somebody is just not happy within a relationship, okay? Or they're trying to heal from a relationship that has ended, okay? Let's see. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed for Pisces for other situations? Those don't feel right. Why is the Ten of Cups reversed for Pisces from now until August 7th? We have the lovers again. You have got to be shitting me. Somebody has got to make a decision about this relationship. A third party very well may have Ill infiltrated your relationship. Gemini energy again. But it's like, hello, it's here. Time to make a, re a decision. And look at that egg. Someone definitely could be pregnant here. There could be a, a third party. Wow. So there is a relationship here. Somebody's just not happy with it. Um, very well could be, yeah, because of a third party. So let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is reversed going into the near future. Somebody's going to give up and not put any work in. They're not going to do the right thing. So let's see. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed going into the near future for Pisces? Someone may need to express their grief, their regret, their remorse. Um, somebody's just not going to put work in or give any attention to someone that may be coming back from the past. Or a past relationship. Somebody's done putting the work in. Doesn't want to think about it anymore. Doesn't want to deal with the past. Okay. But there are very fond memories of the past. A past person here. This is definitely like a soulmate. Somebody's intuition is, is going to tell them. Somebody's holding on to someone here. Pisces, Aries. Let's see. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. What is somebody not going to put work into going into the near future for Pisces? Somebody's going to be pushing someone away. Standing up, defending themselves, guarding themselves, pushing the past away. Giving up, not putting the work in, not letting, not letting anyone in. Yep, and here's the past. Again, someone wants a second chance with you, Pisces, or you, them. Or something needs to be said about the past, and somebody's ego very well may be in the way. You know, somebody's pride and, and joy may have just ruined everything here. Very interesting. Scorpio energy there as well. Let's see. We'll definitely get more information with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Whoop! We've got a flipper. We have the Three of Cups reversed, okay? So there is a third party for some here. For some, there is no reconciliation, no coming back together with someone here. There is a love offer, though. There is love here. But there's just no reconciling with someone. Um, or there's a third party, sexual or platonic here. Um, somebody could have gotten communication from somebody online about a third party or there's just gossip and bullshit online tell me about this third third party for pisces there it is there is a third party here who is this third party ten of swords reverse somebody's trying to heal Okay, so there was an ending with this person, whoever this third party is, whether it's male or female. I believe somebody does not want to get hurt again. Okay, somebody does not want a situation to end again. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. Who is this third party for Pisces? 
Seven of Swords reversed, okay? So secrets have already come out, or they will, about somebody lying, sneaking around, stealing, or cheating. And this is what's causing someone to be unhappy within their family or within their relationship. Wow, guys. I do want to clarify this. Stop for a minute and clarify this with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Why is the Three of Cups reversed for Pisces? Who is this third party? Yep. There's definitely somebody looking into your relationship, Pisces, or you're looking into somebody else's, or your partner's doing this. However it goes. There's the Five of Wands again. Okay. Somebody wants to get back in with someone. Somebody wants to reconcile with someone here, but they're playing games. Sexual or platonic here. I do see positive changes, though. Fate, destiny. Tell me more. Could be a fire sign, Aries or Sag. Tell me more. About this third party for Pisces. Four of Chalice is reversed. Somebody does not want it. It's like somebody's playing... Somebody is done playing games. Done. But somebody may be watching the spying. Somebody does not want this third party anymore. It's plain and simple. Alright, let's go back to the reading. Sorry guys, I just wanted to check that out for you. So let's see. The Ace of Pentacles is external to you guys. This is absolutely amazing. Money, new job, new home, anything worth of value. New relationship coming in that's stable. Okay? Rewards. Why is the Ace of Pentacles external to Pisces? Focusing on money, fo focusing on business, happiness. There very well could be a Leo around you offering you something or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But there's happiness here with this new stability or this new job, new home, whatever it may be. Positivity. This is amazing what's surrounding you, Pisces. Positive energy. Good times. I'm seeing celebrations also external. But definitely money moves. External to you. Also, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn may be coming in. And there is a victory here. With this person. Or this person may want attention from you. Somebody may be holding back. So that, that, in your hopes and fears, you may be worried that you, you know, you're holding back too bad, too much or too little. Let's see. Why is the high priestess reversed in Pisces hopes and fears? Wow. There's definitely some drama some fighting, okay, about some type of business deal or somebody not getting money that was owed to them that may be on your mind as well. Somebody not getting paid and there could be arguing, fighting, competition here. Someone definitely needs to listen to their intuition. Look, because somebody is putting the work in. Somebody need, may need to make a judgment call here and there may be a tower moment. Okay, but it's a good tower because I feel like somebody needs to, this could be like sexual energy with a, a Capricorn or Scorpio here, but I see truth coming out about like somebody's ego or addictions or something may need to be said. Damn, that was insane. What was that all about? Tell me about the High Priestess Reversed. We have the Queen of Swords reverse. Somebody definitely could be in your way, messing with your intuition, Pisces. Um, I feel like somebody's too in their head and not listening to their intuition. Could also be worried about somebody cutting you off. 
or you guys having to cut someone off and not really listening to those gut feelings. Somebody could be very vindictive here, too, that you could be thinking about, male or female. <clears throat> very vindictive, very jealous. They could be jealous of you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. Very interesting. Let's see. So the death card reverse. Somebody's not going to be letting somebody go. Or something go. Something is not going to be coming to an end. We have the devil. Okay. Something is turning toxic, guys. <clears throat> Unless it's a Capricorn or Taurus Virgo Capricorn that cannot let go of you or you cannot let go of them. Somebody's definitely bound and tied. Feeling bound and tied to something or someone. Not able to let go. This could be negative thinking patterns. This could be addictions. This could be literally anything here that we're talking about with the devil. Toxic relationships. The truth is coming out, though. The truth may be coming out about an Aries Leo Sagittarius or a one night stand type energy here. Or somebody who makes promises, doesn't follow through. Somebody who's in and out here. Somebody cannot let go of this toxic relationship. There's so much positivity around you, though. Like, what? Yeah, see, somebody wants to return to you, Pisces, or you them. And somebody is a little bit guarded. Okay, somebody's very guarded. Exhausted. Um, because somebody may be married, or living with someone, or in a relationship with someone. Or somebody's just trying to protect their stability. Okay, and I do, again, I see a need for forgiveness here, a need for healing, a need for somebody to offer some type of emotion. Let's see, tell me about this devil. Ten of Pentacles, all about money. There's money here. There's stability here. There's family here. But there's no communication or there is negative, toxic communication and gossip. There's no passion here. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. See, somebody is unable to get themselves out of the drama mentally. Somebody's mentally unable to walk away from you, Pisces, or are you them? Yeah, it's definitely looking like a fire sign here. Male or female. Somebody definitely wants commitment, Pisces. Somebody may be already taken. What is coming in for love for Pisces from now until... August 7th justice okay this may be legal decisions waiting on divorces this could be somebody getting married i mean there's so much shit going on in this reading so many major arcanas it's insane but there's a decision to be made a fair balanced honest decision to be made for everybody involved okay about this relationship this could be court cases as well yeah i'm seeing separations Okay? Or, you know, severing contracts, ties with contracts. Whoever is going into isolation will be coming out, okay, and saying something there. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Libra as well. Tell me about the Justice card. This is karma, you guys. For sure. Yep. Somebody is getting their karma. This definitely is a karmic relationship. Somebody needs, somebody's got a huge decision to make. This could be court related where somebody didn't, isn't paying someone back. But something needs to be said. Something's going to be brought up from the past or somebody's coming back from the past, Pisces. Whew. There could be a big shock. 
okay? Somebody could want to seriously change, have a big fast change in their career, or have positive change with a new relationship, or positive change with a pregnancy here, or a new job. I mean, the tower is here. Like, somebody's making promises, not keeping them. Truth is, is here. Clarity is here. Victory is here. Somebody needs to pay their karmic dues. That's what it is. Somebody needs to learn the karmic lesson, whatever this relationship has taught someone. So let's see. Let's go in with the tarot of sexual magic. So let's see. What else does Pisces need to know? Okay, Knight of Swords reversed. Nobody has an agenda here, okay? Somebody's just not moving forward, not speaking, okay? Someone's very intimidated by you, Pisces, or you're very intimidated by them. Um, somebody may be a little bit worried about somebody being kind of emotionally abusive or verbally abusive, but somebody's definitely intimidated, I feel, and they, they don't want to move forward on something or someone. Someone's very overburdened, overworked regarding this new beginning. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. But somebody cannot emotionally walk away from you, Pisces, or you, them. So, Earth and Air energy here. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the... King of Wands reversed. Damn. Somebody's not comforting someone here. It could be a friend. Or it could be somebody that's trying to be more than friends. And it's definitely a fire sign here. Or somebody definitely needs some comfort. And somebody's just not, you know. There's no agenda here is what I'm seeing. But somebody could be really happy, unhappy, and emotionally upset. Let's see. Tell me about this King of Wands reverse. Yeah, somebody's getting their wishes and their dreams fulfilled here. This fire sign may want you, Pisces, or you, them, however it goes. Somebody wants someone here bad. Somebody may be trying to get out of a marriage or a living situation or a relationship so that they can deal with someone at a distance here, but somebody's having some, some grief and some upset about that. They're not really sure what to do. There's the justice card. So somebody's really thinking about long and hard about who, they, who it is they want to be with. Virgo, Libra energy there. What are these wishes and dreams coming true for Pisces from now until August 7th? Knight of Wands. If this is a sexual energy, yeah. Somebody's getting their wishes and dreams fulfilled. Hot damn, and some truth is coming out about that. What the hell... Scorpio energy as well. There may be an ending coming up here. Or somebody's just like, nope, I'm not doing this. I'm done. I don't have love for you no more. Somebody's definitely going to be hurt and upset by this. <sighs> Looks like an Aries Leo Sag to me that wants to be more than friends. Somebody's not saying anything. This could be a situation happening around you, Pisces, as well. Let's see, what else does Pisces need to know from now until August 7th in love? What else does Pisces... There it is again. Somebody's dwelling. Dwelling, dwelling, dwelling on a past relationship. Needing to make a decision. Libra and Virgo energy. Someone could have... Someone very well could have had an eye for other women or other men or kind of been like, a, it could have been like a one night stand type thing. Or this person could be very controlling and domineering and somebody's just like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know. 
because some secrets may have come out. Somebody, somebody, it looks like somebody may have spoken to someone and told someone some secrets. Yikes. All right, one more for Pisces. Tell me about this hermit. Yeah, somebody's keeping secrets. Somebody's not expressing how they truly feel. Either because somebody's taken or in a relationship. But somebody's getting over it. Yeah. Somebody's really upset and hurt that somebody's taken. What are these secrets? Why is the moon here? We have the stars. Very interesting. Somebody's like hoping and praying to talk to you, Pisces. Are you another water sign or Aquarius? <laughs> Someone definitely wants forgiveness here. They want this passionate new beginning and they want a second chance. But somebody's too in their head about this devilish energy here. And there very well is a third party. Somebody's just out for sex here. Third party Pisces and somebody just cannot walk away. Aries, Gemini... There definitely could be pregnancies here for some. I have to mention it because she is pregnant in this card. Wow. All right, let's see. After tarot for Pisces. Keep in mind these are predictions and they can manifest three to six months ahead. Or you may want to contact someone, Pisces, and you're just confused. You just don't know yet. Let's see. Tell me what Pisces can expect in love going into the near future. Alright, so someone... <laughs> there it is again. A relationship may end due to a third party here. Or somebody's still not going to be making a decision but still holding on to this person. Yeah, somebody cannot emotionally walk away from you, Pisces, or you them. It is not ending. It's not ending. There's a karmic lesson here for sure. What is the best advice for Pisces? See things clearly. Get out of your head. See the situ situation for what it is. It's definitely got to do with negative communication, fighting, comp you know... Somebody could be fighting for the same person here. Somebody just won't stop talking to someone. Somebody just won't go away. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Or there could be fighting over children here also. Something is not over though. What do we need to see clearly for Pisces from now until August? Look. You guys know. There's a decision here between two different people. However it goes. Someone's fighting for you, Pisces, or you're fighting for somebody else, or whoever you're with is fighting. Somebody needs to make a decision. There are two different people here offering love, and there very well could be somebody that is married. But ultimately, somebody is going to be left out in the cold, okay? Because somebody may end up getting in a relationship, married, or committed. Wow. Someone's fighting for someone. Two people. Somebody needs to take the blindfold off and see. Somebody's just ignoring the fact that somebody's fighting over two different people or two different people are fighting over you. Somebody needs to say something, I think. Yeah, somebody needs to do the right thing. This is all about moral spirituality. <sighs> Damn, Pisces. So you guys may be keeping your, your mouth shut. <laughs> secretly wanting to get with somebody or somebody secretly wants to get with you. However this goes. 
Keep in mind, it can be vice versa. All right, best advice for Pisces from now until August 7th. In love, best advice for Pisces. All right. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. On the bottom, we have separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. We also have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Could be a lack of, you know, lack of trust. Let's see. Questions Pisces may be asking that are led and drawn to this video. Answers to those questions, spirit. Wow, they just all come out. We have within the next few weeks, whichever one calls to you guys, we have no, and we also have yes, and we also have a year from now. The situation will improve. Listen to your intuition in the near future. We have yes and no. Why do we have yes and no here, spirit? There needs to be forgiveness, whether it's forgiving yourself. I know it's real shitty, especially if there's a third party. <sighs> there needs to be healing, forgiveness. Let's see who this true love is with. Who is this true love for Pisces from now until the moon reversed? It'll all become clear. Secrets will be out. You'll either express how you feel to someone, or someone will express how they feel about you. I do see a reconciliation or a celebration here, for sure, with whoever somebody's supposed to be with. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody may let go of a fire sign here. Let's see, who is this true love with? What is their zodiac sign, Spirit? Scorpio energy. Okay, somebody may be avoiding it, though. Avoiding the reconciliation, avoiding, you know, expressing how they really feel. But still, somebody cannot mentally move on. Somebody may be blocked. Okay, there may be blocked communication with someone. It could be an older person, an older male. It could be the father of somebody's children. Or it could be somebody who just likes authority and control here. They cannot let go of you, Pisces, or vice versa. Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Definitely water energy. Wow, guys. That's what I've got for you. Definitely like, share, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next month. Take care, Pisces. Have a good one.